Hello, Justin Sandico here. Uh, welcome to my DVD on Master the Major Scales. Uh, in this DVD we're going to be covering five major scale positions which relate to the caged system on the guitar, which is pretty much how the guitar works. Um, I've been using this method for about five years and taught nearly probably a hundred people uh, how to play the major scales. The, the idea is not only to be able to play the major scales, like play the scale up and down, but how to actually use the scales to make music and also how to link the scales together so you can kind of get one big scale pattern that covers the whole neck. Now this method involves learning everything in the key of G first. So all of the examples and pretty much most of this DVD is all going to be based around the key of G. Now one of the most important things that you need for, for this is using a backing track which will be supplied at the end of this DVD um, and there will be others becoming available soon. You can also use pop songs that are in the key of G but I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. So here we are for position 1 G major scale. We're going to be starting here with the second finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Play here two, then the fourth finger on the next string, first finger, second finger, fourth finger, onto the fourth string, first finger, third finger, fourth finger, over onto the third string, first, third, fourth, on the next string, start with the second finger, which is a little bit weird, but you'll get used to it. Then with the fourth finger, first finger on the thinner string now, second, four. Now when we turn around, we don't play the top note twice, so we go straight back to the second finger, first finger, moved over onto the second string now, little finger, second finger, onto the third string, little finger, third finger, first finger, little finger, third, first, four, two, one, little finger, second finger, and now we go down to the first finger and back to the root note. As I mentioned earlier, it's very important that you're aware of where the chord tones are around the, the scale shape. This is for later on when you want to start moving the key. If you're aware of the chord tones around the root note, it makes it a lot easier to see the shapes and to know where to move your scale position to. For now, you're just doing it in G, but it, still, it's really important that you're really aware of where those notes are. So the chord looks like this. As you can see, this is a D shape according to the cage system because this little shape here looks just like a D chord. So you can see there, it's a, bit, it's a little awkward to play the whole thing to be honest like this and in the real world very rarely do you actually play the whole thing. Um, there's the root note of course there on the fourth string. There's the D chord but you often add this note in here, this note D here on the fifth string. Sometimes you add this note here as well, the B on the bottom and play the chord that way. But the notes, the key chord tones, are such. So when you were playing the scale it would be chord tone, 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 finish on the route. 